Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Godfrey. Welcome to another episode. We're going to keep it how we used to. We haven't no, done this in so long. No, we've yeah. not been around for a minute. <laughs> so wifey traveled, got back. So much happening. Life is happening on this and end. <laughs> I'm sure it's happening yeah. in your house too. In the end, we're back like we never left. Yes, you know what I'm saying? we're back. But, um, yeah, we're excited to be back again. Too many people kept asking, where have you guys been? Yeah. I meet people every time I go out for events and we miss you guys so much. You guys should please come back and all that. But so we're we see back. your comments also. Mm -hmm. Not so, just on here, but I think on Instagram. Even. Yeah, Instagram, yeah. yeah. So um, the thing is that we're not going to make any paparazzi on whether, you know, we're coming up with Kim. We're just going to hear English. Spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> How much we love. We miss you guys so much yes, too. But this, we love yeah. doing this, first mm -hmm. and foremost. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing I do want to ask of our family, YouTube family, is to, in the comments of this video, let us know what other types of videos you want to see from us. Or what topic we, you want us to talk about. Yeah, we asked that question on Threads. And I guess maybe a lot of our YouTube subscribers aren't on Threads or not following us on Threads, but we got literally no responses. And I'm like, okay, does that mean? Yeah, Threads is just the people. Yeah. Maybe like, like, like Instagram and all of those. So maybe here we'll get a better result of like, what type of content do you want to see from the guy? But I have one thing that I want to talk about today, and that's just this is not really the welcome, welcome. We're just gonna just come in here and just say. A couple yeah, he of wanted things. to make a video about this because yeah, this is something that because I'm, I'm not happy. <laughs> I am not Mr. Godfrey. Harpy. Um, so I thought I needed to. I know I'm not supposed to come back and be angry the first day, but I just want to express myself. Angry, so, passionate. Yeah, but angry is mixed inside a bit because, <laughs> uh, and that's this whole thing about tips in America. Tipping, Tipping. for those who may be a little confused. It's, okay, tips, it's, so, it's the proper, but. What is rising that in this? I'm just saying, like, tipping. Okay, yeah, tipping, when you go okay. out, you're tipping. Yeah, I mean, so the first time I experienced that was um, I think it was my birthday or something. No, not the, well, yeah, the first time I really, really experienced that and it was my money that I was into pay. So it changes the dynamics if somebody goes with you out and then the person pays. That's a long time with D and the rest Oh, of them. I'm like this person? Yeah. So, um, and um, I don't know whether it was my birthday last year or last two years or something like that, last two years. I know we're just eating, it was about eight or four or something. And then we finished eating. Of course, the present server was nice to us and all of that. And um, the guy gave us a bill. You know, it's a bill, 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 bill. Get a bill. I saw about close to 300, 280 or 290 dollars for the food. First, I was calculating my Nigerian naira as, again as usual. Like, what? This thing we just ate here is already right now. Almost 300,000 Naira. How? Did you buy the whole store? Did we shut down the whole place? Was it a wedding party? It was just seven, eight people. But okay, that was not enough. Here's where the problem started. Because I didn't, I didn't understand. They give you a paper, they say you should sign. No, you put your card first, and then they take the you card and go see. back. I'm even afraid that they're going to go take my card and do something. <laughs> so I was asking, is my card Yo, saved? Online, is my card man. saved? He said, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. They took the card and came back. By the time they came back, and I said, yeah, I don't understand all this long, long story here. Okay. Um, I mean, of course, my wife does it for me now. Okay. Yeah, I don't, want, I don't want to learn it. I, 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 I don't want to learn it. He's like, I don't want to even see how much <laughs> So, so um, it was, um, Dina said, um, it's 20%. So in my head, around 300 is about $60. And Dina adds that if this, if the person does well, you can still add some money to the person. So, we're planning to use $80 of my money or something to give somebody for it. $80 <laughs> is what is about 70, 80,000 Naira. I should use it as tip. 
I feel that thing. And it was normal. And everyone was saying, no, this is I said, what? How would I be giving somebody? Listen, no, no, we. Who is the president of America now, Bill Clinton? <laughs> the way you want Bill to just always be. The president, I don't now, understand it. The question is, don't they pay these guys? So, they pay them why they serve that's a good question. and we'll pay you to... And we'll, no, no, so no, a, no, 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 no. That's an issue. And it's been a long-standing issue in the restaurant industry here in America. As a former uh, waitress, I used to waitress in college. Oh. Um, they literally, and, and this is back then, this was... 15 years ago, maybe? Um, but they don't pay servers a lot of money. Um, I'm just basing this off how much I was making. I was making like two or three dollars an hour. What? Yeah, so the bulk of your pay comes from your tips. So, and, and there are some restaurants that do have different pay structures. I know like some of the more like expensive fine dining restaurants, I worked at Olive Garden, which is why I love their bread and pasta too today. But more of like the fine dining restaurants, they do like pool tips. So like all the servers that were working on that particular shift, you put your tips together and somehow some way they break them down. I don't know the exact, uh, you know, workings of that but they don't servers don't in in like the standard american restaurants are not getting paid a whole lot <clears throat> and i say it's been like a long-standing debate and issue because it's like if the restaurant is getting the money from the food why aren't they paying the servers like where are their expect i get i get that the restaurant has to buy the food they have to maintain the equipment they have to pay rent for the uh, the the building. The I get all that, way, but, but you should okay. still be paying the people who work for you a livable wage. Like, what if Americans uh, decided to go on a tipping strike, and and none of the servers Wait, were getting but, paid? But first, is it compulsory that you must? It's pay? not compulsory, but it is strongly suggested or advised, especially if you have that knowledge that I just shared with you that they don't get paid a high hourly rate. So let's say, if th this was my rule of thumb, after I was a waitress, I used to always think, if you can't afford to include the tip in the meal, then you shouldn't go out to eat. That was my take on it. I know people have different opinions. They're like, I paid for my food. Anything else is extra. I always tip, the, the lowest I will tip is 15%, but I always strive for like 20% because of what I know about my experience. Like I would be like on it, Wait. on shifts and be like the best, you know, server possible, very attentive, making sure my tables were taken care of. And I've had people walk, walk out and not tip me anything. And that affects my, pay. like that essentially, if that was one of two tables I have for the hour and the other table tipped 15%. And let's say I got like $15 from that tip for like, let's say an hour, almost an hour and a half, I only got paid $15. Like, that, when you start to do the math that way, it, Listen, it's uh, different. So, so you are coming from another direction, trying to explain something else. My own is my money first. Yeah. That I'm, I'm upset I about. Agree. So, I'll get to a restaurant and it's 300, say 280 or $300. First, I've spent almost 300 key on the food, and then you now expect me to tip the person on one eating under eighty dollars well, or let so. Let me add something on, to it. And then the person, not, and and they expect you to bring it to you and put it some some. They will even put it by force and say. That's just what the, I was gonna say. Some restaurants, if your party is over a certain size, the gratuity is automatic, <laughs> like it's included in your bill. So, so God, I don't know how. <laughs> My fellow Africans, have you ever explained? How did you? So wait, wait. How did you? How did you? How was how it for you? How were you introduced to the culture? What, what was? So that that is one area. The other area that I know that um, I, I don't know whether I've spoken about this before. I remember one time I went to um, somebody wanted to take me out, a group of friends. I went out and we got to start eating. They now said, "Let's share the bill." They brought the bill and people started checking 
their own and people started calculating and paying. So I have something to add to that too. I know your opinion. How? And I, I, mean, I, I, I... First, that offended me that day and I felt like, why would you ask me for us to go out? This is a long time ago. And, <laughs> and then you, you not pay. You're not paying. You want me to share the money and for us to pay the bills. You see family or friends and all of this in Ghana and the woman time to pay bills, everybody start calculating what the other one. How is that? In, and I'm still gonna go back to Nigeria for tip. But uh, did that ever happen to you here in America? And for me, I felt like, why? What I know is that we, we drag to pay. We are fighting who pays. In, a, in fact, somebody will come out as you have everybody has ordered, somebody will just go behind secretly, and secretly yes. pay. And when everybody's trying to pay, they ask somebody has paid. Who paid? We're we we fighting to pay for everybody. I don't care whether it's 20 people, 30 people, one person wants to pay for everything. And here, the least, even if it is food of $15, $20, $30, they're sharing the bill. Everybody pay but one person. It you, doesn't make. I think you share something in another video that would somewhat explain why that is and it's because things are so expensive here and but not listen listen listen, okay, listen. Okay. and not saying that i haven't primary most of the times that i've witnessed what he's talking about happen has been here in the states so i'm not saying oh it only happens in nigeria you know when the bill is in naira no but that's part of the reason and adding to the fact let, let's say you go out to eat with friends and I, or I say myself, and I only have a salad. This is before being introduced to like how Nigerians do it and being like, okay, you know, that's actually so cool. Because sometimes, too. listen, yes, because listen, sometimes it's like, you don't mind, you know, going ahead and treating the people around you. This is me talking about their perspective. Go ahead and be a blessing. People will continue to be a blessing to you. You, you won't go without. It kind of ties into the principle of sowing and reaping. You know, I get it. But on the American side, let's say I only went out to eat with friends. It's three of us. I don't even think the number matters, but whatever. And I have a chicken salad and some sparkling water. And one of my other friends has lamb chops and uh, and, I and uh, me. I think I have salad that I'm gonna eat. I'm not leaving. Yeah, it's <laughs> Go ahead. Why did I say salad? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so one of my friends had lamb chops and a really fancy mocktail and another friend had steak and got an extra meal, ordered an extra meal to take home. Why would I be expected to pay four to five times my bill if I didn't eat that much money? Now, I agree that what he's saying works when everybody is ordering an entree, well, maybe, when everybody's ordering maybe, a drink, or maybe everybody's getting dessert, and I'm not just drinking water and eating a salad. Because people in America, quiet is kept. A lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> a lot of people are already living above their means. Listen, so for me to go out to eat I, with someone and them to expect me to pay for their food when I'm be you know, like that's the mindset of a lot of Americans. The thing is, Ask my fellow Nigerians and Africans, you cannot compare the lifestyle and the stress and the, the economic situation of America to Nigeria. People are going through a lot in Nigeria, but we have this, it's almost like the culture for us to take yeah, care of one another. Yeah, it's definitely cultural. So it's the excuse of saying because people are living, for, so people don't even have paycheck in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And they still manage to go out and just everybody just 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 finish eating somebody. Why would we now even when it is like everybody just ate something small, people just went out and we all spent about sixty dollars to eat with this year. It's almost like a mental everybody and the way they calculated two pennies, like eighty Yeah, I don't like that. Sixteen point five two three six point one two zero point zero two A X find X Y equals to. There's a lot in that. I, I agree. You hit on something. You said culture. It is cultural, um, because. Okay, so I'm kind of gonna go off topic, but I feel like this will kind of help to make my point. So with the Nigerians, culturally, it's um, it's the norm for young adults to stay in their parents' homes. Um, for the most part, not saying it's a hard, fast rule, but usually to stay in their parents' homes until they're married. And not just Nigerians, it happens in other cultures also. More of ladies though. Yeah, 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 for the, for the ladies. 
Um, but now it's but not versus, happening again though, it's changing. Now. Yeah, it's changing. I agree. But like maybe five, ten years ago, I feel like it was still, it's changed very sure. fast. Um, but in America, Black American, I can speak for Black American culture because I, I don't know much about this um, in other American cultures, but it's kind of like a, a badge of honor when you get your own place and you move out at 18 and you know, you start to pay bills and it's kind of like a sign of adulthood in Black American culture. And I think that feeds into other things where we kind of sometimes get away from the community aspect in some parts of life while still maintaining it in others. So that whole like tipping thing, how you, you said people do it culturally, want to take care of one another. We as Black Americans, we do want to take care of one another, but it doesn't always look like that. It, it'll look like I'm having a cookout or a party and you come to my house, you bring something or you don't bring something, but yeah, you're welcome will, to come will, over yeah, 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 and that's eat and drink. So we that's do it, but we don't it do it win. that way. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we don't do it that way because some black people will go overboard with the way I explained it. They'll be like, oh. One of the things that I think about it is that um, when you even visit people in their houses, yeah, mm -hmm. um, people still bring food and come. And I think it's a good thing. You bring stuff when you're coming, but it's not like that in Nigeria. Now, here's the flip side on the tipping part. And I, I just want to say that uh, I remember Todd coming to Nigeria, Todd Duleni, my friend, coming to Nigeria. And, and I know everybody that works in, whether as a server in the restaurant or whatever, would really prefer that we do this in Nigeria too. But in Nigeria, if you get 1,000 Naira, that's like $1 or 2,000 or 3,000 or 5,000 as tip. Listen, and I try to do that here too because what Todd did to my people in Nigeria, I try to do to his own people, I'm happy. So, so, for, so Todd went to get a massage or something and came out from the place and then said he wanted to just, how much is it? He paid. They said he wanted to just give a tip. We said, no, don't do tip here. We're telling him, no tip. He now said, how much is $100? Then $100 was 50K or 48K, 50K. Uh, I said, how much is $100? I said, oh. you know, I said, give me, give me. They gave him the 50K and he called the lady and gave her the money. The lady passed out, the lady fell on the floor crying. That's the woman's salary in a month. Mm. That $100 is the woman's salary for a full month, working six days a week. And Todd says, this is tip for you. And the woman was crying all through. Mm. So that is the beautiful part of it. Then I remember coming here, and then we went to a restaurant to go and eat, and the person finished giving us food. I would give the tip. I said, Come, um, just take. I gave the person $50. Mm -hmm. Then I said, Oh my God, are you serious? No, no. You know, Americans, they say, No, 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 no. I'm sorry, don't give me. It's okay. I said, Take. <laughs> they worry, she take what I say. <clears throat> Anyways, my, my, my thought is that this whole cultural difference is sometimes is a plus in, yeah. in some way. Now, I've actually built that um, like now here in America that I have to, it's not normal for me. And then, and I know um, when I'm back to Nigeria, I'm, I'm most likely by default will do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, um, the other side of it in America, in Nigeria is that people would always, so I would say we still give tip in Nigeria, but it's almost like, People force money, people beg you for money. Mm -hmm. You land at the airport, people are saying, oh, guy. And so, guys, tell me, is when people say anything for the boys, is that tip? I mean, I well, the problem so with Nigeria is that they, don't, they didn't even do anything for exactly. you. Exactly. They have not worked. So, the worked. difference between tip and panhandling is you're tipping someone for a service that they rendered versus just giving someone money. Someone just giving you a panhandling. Shout out. They're just asking for money. Oh, that's a hard. After Haley, they say, oh, You're almost paying them for greeting you. You come in, you see people, they, everywhere you get into, people are asking you, give me some reason for not doing it, just standing and asking. I think that's what our tipping is. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I think, I think you would like the whole idea of tipping more if it was optional, because I know you do like above and beyond. Yeah, I always Versus give more than, like, yeah, I always will give more than what's you're, present. But, you're kind of guilty But they're almost doing forcing me to do the tip, and I'm calculating service. Nigeria. Okay, I shouldn't calculate again, but I mean, well, I mean, let us know if you have any experience as regards yeah. this. Um, but uh, this is me just coming to vent. We're gonna still do another episode where we'll say we're back fully, but this one is just the vents yeah, coming yeah, back, yeah. vents, vents back, and back venting series. Anyways, um, let me know if you've gone through anything like that. 
here in America on any developed world. Uh -huh. And let us know. And don't um, forget to let us know in the comments what type of videos you want to see from us. Yeah, me. so. What type of topics. Don't forget to. Like, mm -hmm, comment, mm -hmm, subscribe, mm -hmm. turn on your post notifications, and share. Please share, 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 share. We love you so much. We miss you guys so, so much. And. You know, it's been such a beautiful, you know. And Ren turned six months the other day. No, she's she's about to turn seven months yeah. next week. Next week? Yeah. yeah. Next week next she's Monday. about to turn seven months already. And we want to share, um, my wife was saying, okay, let's talk about that later. My <laughs> wife was saying what? About, I mean, sharing pictures sharing and her? all those things. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I've been um, kind of wanting to do that for a while, yeah, but I but understand why my husband wait, wants to wait. We want to wait. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. soon. One day um, soon. We're gonna share it first here. I think yeah. that would be cool. Yeah, yeah you so. guys have been a part of a lot that's been going on in our family yes. for the last seven months since she's Six been born. Months, I think yeah. the first one of the first videos we did well, was, was to announce. It was right before she. Well, we didn't release it until after she came. Okay, but we recorded okay. it the day before we had her. So. We will definitely share her here. Yes. We'll bring her in on a video. She will love it. <laughs> she, <laughs> she loves the camera. Start... She loves smiling. Oh Lord, she, smi ah, she smiles. She smiles. My God, all she laughs. She's just, it's just, just the best. That's gift my ever. baby. All right, we love you guys. We love you. See you. I had a mommy moment just then. <laughs> yeah. Peace. Oh, and um, just just a little tidbit that what they say about little girls becoming daddy's girls and your husband um, starting to kiss your daughter before he kisses you and say good morning to your daughter before he says good morning to you. Those things are true. So, <laughs> that would be another topic. When you're believing God for a daughter, just factor that in. That you'll be sharing your husband's heart with another young woman. I love my baby. It's fine. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye. So, thank you guys for joining us for another video. We're taking you guys small, small, you know, through our That's meeting and our relationship. Small, small, small is in Nigeria. I said <laughs> We're taking you guys through our relationship. So, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, mm -hmm. comment, mm -hmm. subscribe, share. turn on your post notifications, and, and share. share. Um, because other people can be blessed by this content as well. That's my wife. <laughs>